Hello and welcome to Five Draft School of Motoring. It's Mohammed. I hope you guys are doing great. Dealing with hills can be stressful, especially if you don't have much experience. And also, if the hill is on a T-junction where your view is really blocked. In this short video, I'm going to help you with hill junctions and I'll tell you the best possible way to deal with the junctions which are on steep uphill. I hope you are going to find this video useful. Okay, we are on Heaton Road now. At the top of this road, there's a steep uphill and there's a T-junction which is on a hill. This is part of heat and test routes and I've been requested to make this video. When coming up on this hill, you've got to maintain your speed. If you are approaching the hill too slow, then you would have to drop into lower gear again. And be careful with these parked cars because the oncoming traffic can be slightly in your lane. Coming up to this junction, Obviously, you will check your mirrors and signal and you're going to come off the gas. You will put the clutch down, go into the first gear and lift the clutch up to the bite with gas on. So gas should be between one and half and you should crawl using your clutch control. So as you can see, you've got a steady gas on and clutch is going up and down. Try and get to the top of the hill. So if you're stopping short, you're going to make it more difficult. So if it's safe, just pull out. And if it isn't, just stop by putting the clutch down, brake and stop and use your parking brake. It is very important not to lower the clutch down too much as you will start to roll back. And if you're bringing the clutch up too quick, either you can go too fast or you can even stop. And if you stall, the first thing you should do is secure your car by putting the parking brake on. Sometimes le what learners do is they put the clutch down and they start rolling back. Right, let's do another one. This one is even steeper than the one we did before. So you can see that I've left it in a second gear because if I try and go in third, the car will struggle. Just after the van, there is a crossroad, there's a give way. So you're gonna come off the gas, put the clutch down and go into the first gear about a car length and lift the clutch back up to the bike with keeping the gas steady between one and two. You may have to lean on the steering wheel to crawl. Just bring the clutch up and down, up and down, and keep crawling until you can see the road. As I said before as well, if it's not safe, do not try and go. Just put the clutch down brake and stop. Any left turn or a right turn you're taking, you should practice MSPSL routine, which stands for Mirror Signal Position Speed and Look. Okay, we're coming up to another crossroad turn in right. Again, you will check your mirrors and signal right, come off the gas. A car length, clutch down first gear. And again, revs between one and two and bring the clutch up to the right and move it up and down thickness of a pound coin. As I said before as well, if you bring it up too much, you're going to go fast or stall. If it wasn't safe, 
you would put the class down and break and use your parking brake because we have stopped at the right place so we are not worried about crawling more you've got to crawl as far as you can without obstructing traffic so if your junction is closed and your car is sticking out after the giveaway you will still be fine but on an open junction where your view is clear you should not go past the giveaway so again when it's safe you're going to set the gas again between one and two and then you're going to bring the clutch up to the biting point and you're going to hold there and then you will release your parking brake this car had automatic parking brake so it will release automatically Before you go on a busy road, it will be well worth practicing this clutch control alongside gas on a bit quieter road. And that will definitely help you to deal with the junctions in a better way. I hope you guys have found this video useful. If you have, then give this video a like and do subscribe our channel. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next one.